Hey guys, it's Di, and today I have a follow-up video for you of a video I did about a year ago here on my Bakes for Bubbles channel. And this was a video I was anticipating turning 30. I just turned 30 in May, and I was thinking about what I wanted my 30s to look like, and I really made like kind of a to-do list before I turned 30. So it was kind of like the bucket list of my 20s, I think I called it. And I've always looked forward to my 30s. I've always just envisioned it being just kind of a nice, um, put-together, um, just, I don't know, elegant time, for lack of a better word to say, um, of my life. I've always looked forward to it and just, you know, thought of being like a mom by this point in my life, which I am, and kind of just driving around in a minivan, taking the kids to school with a dog. We don't have a dog. Um, but, you know, that was always the image that I had of it. So it's starting to form together. We are a little bit up in the air as far as we may be moving in the future, and so my house decor isn't exactly how I envisioned it. But I'm hoping that we'll be getting to a place soon will be set in one house and my 30s will really just come into their own and be the vision I had um, you know as a younger child I've always looked forward to my 30s don't ask me why I don't know but my to-do list before turning 30 I went ahead and printed this off my blog from the blog post last year that I did when I was 29 I'll link everything down below the old video and the old blog post and all that but here is the list of my to-do list before I turn 30, and I'll just go through each item and let you know where I fell on it, whether or not I accomplished it, and um, also my thoughts on it. So the first item is try something I've never tried before, and I definitely accomplished this. We did a number of things with the kids we'd never done before. We did a thing here in the Chicagoland area called Day Out with Thomas that I thought was really, really fun. We're definitely going to be doing it again this year. It's basically where you just go to the train museum and you ride around in the train, but it was just a really neat kind of different event that we did so I really enjoyed that another thing that is obviously a big one it's very recent try something I never tried before I've never planned a meetup and really put myself out there to do that. So we just did the meetup back in March, or was it April? We just did the meetup that I just posted about, and um, it was really great fun. So I definitely look forward to doing more of those in the future. And that was really a big one, I think, for the past year, something very, very different that I've never kind of planned something like that and put myself out there. The next one is get more organized. And I have been slowly working on this. It's not necessarily that I was a slob or anything like that beforehand, but it's just, you know, little areas in my life that I wanted to organize, like my kitchen drawer and, and just different things like that, that I really made an effort this past year to get more organized. I still have one really big project that I haven't tackled, and that's my basement. And I think I probably even mentioned that in that video. I have to go back and watch it again. My basement's still a work in progress, um, but as far as all the little areas in my life, I've tackled closets around my house and I've tackled, um, you know, junk drawers and things like that, and I really am feeling very good about how those things are going. Um, I'm doing a series on my other channel on Be Mommy with Style Project Organized, just showing the small little projects that I do, organizing closets, organizing drawers, just the little things that I'm doing, organizing my spice <laughs> rack in my kitchen, um, the little things that I'm kind of doing to promote organization as much as possible and all things that if we move to a different house in a different state and all that they can move with us you know it's organization systems I can take with me oh dear number three <laughs> the next one is lose 20 pounds <laughs> okay but I do have a doctor's note on this one um I have lost a little bit of weight and I do work out at least like three to four times a week on average I do Zumba and I do swimming and I do pop in occasionally I'm trying to add in some more weight training but I have had health issues and I do have a doctor's note um, I'm still in the midst of sorting them out in fact I'm going to the endocrinologist tomorrow um, for my first appointment with the specialist I've talked a little bit about this again over my other channel just because I try to keep all my personal things over there um, I really view bags for bubbles more as like a handbag fashion and just anything to do with that anything that's personal or to do with mommy stuff I put over on my other channel um, but just the long and short of it is I found out in February that I have thyroid issues, which really explains a lot, but I'm still working on resolving that or, or trying to make it better. Um, so tomorrow will be actually my first appointment, the first step to um, working with a specialist to hopefully find a solution. And if you've never have known anyone with thyroid issues, I have hyperthyroidism, which is supposed to make you lose weight. 
but in my fun little world, it has made me gain weight, hooray, or at least made it harder for me to lose weight, apparently. Um, hyperthyroidism can also make you lose muscle tissue and muscle mass, and I've definitely noticed that as far as this being, it's not fatigue, because fatigue is more hypo side, um, it's more like I can't lift things that I used to be able to lift, it's very odd, it's odd feeling, and then you also have joint pain and things like that, so I think it's something that a lot of people don't know much about if you've never had to deal with it, um, and so I'm still learning as I go too, it's something that's totally new and different for me, but I'm really hoping um, as I go through, it might resolve a number of the issues that I've been struggling with lately, and one of those is, why am I working out and not losing any weight? <laughs> so, um, you know, so that's a work in progress. I still would like to get some of the baby weight off. That's basically that 20 pounds I talked about. I need to get the baby weight gone. Um, but, you know, I feel good about the workouts that I'm doing, and I'm wanting to add in the weight training as soon as I can get rid of the joint pain. So that is my plan as far as that one. The next one on the list is to find a good eye cream, and I actually managed to find not one, but two eye creams that I really, really love this past year. And the first one is the Coors Wild Rose Instant Brightening Eye Treatment. I love this one. It's very nice and moisturizing. It's just got a very moisturizing texture, and it's very just nice and light. It goes on very, very smooth. It smells... Just slightly, so a bit slightly floral, but it's not overpowering because I don't like a really floral scent. And it's just very nice and moisturizing. And I did notice that when I use it regularly, it helps brighten up the underneath area of your eyes. So I really love that one. The other one is also CB Beauty Sea Buckthorn Age Defying Eye Cream. This one is really a firming one. So I think that going forwards, I really haven't worried about wrinkles all that much yet. But I think that definitely as I get older and start thinking about that a little bit more, this is a great one to have found. It's I find that it very it firms underneath my eyes. So if I'm needing more moisture in the winter and that sort of thing, I really like the wild rose one. And then as I'm going into the warmer months and I'm more concerned about firming and um, oil control and that sort of thing, the CV Beauty one seems to be working out great. So I found actually not one but two eye creams, which is great. The next one on the list is by three new pieces of jewelry. And if you were following me back in February, I knocked this one out of the park. I actually had even forgotten this one was on the list, but I kind of went through a jewelry kick. I, um, you know, I'm given a little bit of a present around that time and told to go spend, you know, some money on myself to get a few things that I really like. So I pretty much focused on jewelry during that time. I really didn't buy that many handbags, and I'm extremely happy with the jewelry purchases that I've made. I think that they're going to work really well for me going into my 30s and also should hopefully most of them be pretty timeless. So the first thing that I got a number of were these Alexis Batar bangles. I love these. I love just that they are kind of nice and light and very fun. They're just a great way to get a little bit of color or add some interest to your jewelry. I was one of those people that I was starting to get in a rut with my jewelry as far as just wearing the exact same pieces of silver jewelry over and over. And so I'm really glad that I kind of got on this jewelry kick and I absolutely love it. I also found a number of rose gold pieces that I love so that's going to be good to just add some interest. One of my next favorite pieces of jewelry that I got was this necklace from Henry Bendel. You guys have seen me talk about it in my favorites videos. I've worn it in a number of videos. I wore it to the meetup. I love this necklace. I cannot tell you how much I love this necklace. I'm thinking about getting it another color. I have not got it in any, any other colors yet. Um, but I love this. It's just nice and sparkly and I actually got the bracelet to match it because I love it so much. Just a really gorgeous piece of jewelry. I also really love these Chelsea Charles bracelets. I've got one in rose gold and one in silver and they're just a cute little bracelet to stack. I got the mother bracelet and then also the wild heart bracelet is the rose gold version. I actually really wish I would have these right after I had my daughter and was breastfeeding and all that because it'd be really helpful as far as that sort of thing. Um, but they're just really beautiful. You can keep track of different things health-wise, or you can just use them as a nice piece of jewelry as well. The next one on my list was buy a great smaller purse to use. And I honestly am super happy with my Rebecca Minkoff 
morning after clutches. I love these bags. I want more of them <laughs> or I want to try a different size like the Mac Daddy or the Mini Mac, but I'm extremely pleased with this style bag and it really got me back into Rebecca Minkoff a little bit more. I just think it's a really versatile size, the regular morning after clutch size. I love that the straps are adjustable and it's just a really great functional little bag. It has the zipper on the front. So I have this one in the charcoal color and then also the pink one which is the original one that I got. And I'm honestly super happy with both of these. I think that for a smaller bag option they work out fantastic and I really haven't wanted anything else so those have worked great. The next one is buy something I normally wouldn't buy, and I think I'm going to have to put the Longchamp tote for this one. Um, this is something that I tried newly this past year, and I absolutely love this. I love the versatility of it. I love how it nicely folds down. You can stick this in your luggage. It doesn't take up a ton of space in your closet when you are storing them, which I'm actually running into a storage issue at the house currently. So um, they're just a great little bag. I definitely will get more of these in the future. And and I use this a ton this winter. I cannot tell you guys how much I use this this winter. It was a great just kind of durable bag to not have to worry about it and the snow and the salt and all that kind of thing. So this was a great purchase and I would definitely recommend them if you're looking at them. The next one is clean out my closet of clothing I'm not wearing etc. And I've actually continually been working on this. I'm doing another clean out right now and I'm sending a bag to donation and goodwill and that sort of thing. Um, but I'm also trying for the first time through Read up and I'm sending a lot of my maternity clothing there just things that I'm not holding on to I am holding on to some maternity clothing but I didn't need quite everything I don't think um, so I'm trying that for some of those items and also some kids clothes so cleaning out things and really weeding out things is something that I continually try to do just so the sheer amount of things especially baby things don't take over my house but I have continually been working on that one so we can check that one off the list as well the next one is take more pictures of myself with the girls and I'm happy to say I have been doing that. I think it was a thing where you know after you have babies if you have a hard time losing the baby weight you don't really look like yourself and so you really don't like seeing yourself in pictures and so I think I was able to mentally get over that this year um, and just kind of if I'm in a picture I smile and pose and move on and you wouldn't think that would bother me because obviously I'm putting these videos out of myself right now and I'm doing thumbnails for them so there's kind of a mental disconnect there but um, you know, I'm in pictures more with my girls now, and we do have some photos of me with them. And I have a friend that's a photographer also um, that I've met, I think, within the past year. And she's really great to take photos of myself with the girls and just a really great friend to always stop and say, hey, pose real quick so I can take your picture. So we do have more pictures of us together, which I'm thankful for. And the last one on my list was go see a movie in the movie theater. <laughs> I definitely accomplished this. Um, we were able to go out a few times on date nights and that sort of thing. It's something we have to really push ourselves to schedule in. And so we definitely went on some date nights, went to go see some movies and that sort of thing for some of them. And I think the last one that I went to go see was the G.I. Joe movie. I think, unless I'm forgetting one in there. But anyhow, um, I have seen some movies in the movie theater, uh, so we can check that one off. All right, so that was everything on the list. So all in all, I don't think I did too bad, other than the uh, weight loss goal is still ticking downwards. Didn't go quite as fast as I would have hoped, but at least I'm progressing and hopefully I'm hoping um, as I kind of sort out the thyroid stuff that maybe um, that'll kind of help kickstart it a little bit more as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.